Hello, everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today, we have a special Kitchen Gadget Corner with Daddy edition. Today, we're going to review the Presto Professional Salad Shooter. It comes with everything you see here. We got our salad shooter for about $60 from Amazon.com. If you want to get one for yourself after watching the review, go ahead and click on the link down below so you can take you straight to the Amazon page where you can buy one for yourself. Okay, here is the housing device that will has the motor that will turn the blades to cut your vegetables for you. In the clear plastic, that is where you're going to feed the vegetables through into the cone. The cone is housing the blades. This first blade here, that's the medium shredder we use for buying the smallest shredding they give you. This one is for ripple slices. It makes beautiful slices with a nice ripple design. We'll show that one to you. Do not worry. It'll look nice. This one is the super shredder. It gives bigger shreds. And this white cone, this one is the slicer. The one you might use the most if you're just looking for slicing. You put it on your knees if you want to uh, shred or you want to slice or you want to ripple slice. Here is a feeder cone that they give you to more direct the food that comes out. And this is the pushing device that will push the vegetables into the slicer. And there's the locking ring to lock the shredder into place. With the machine also comes this manual that lists all the fruits and vegetables that they suggest you can cut. And showing you which cone you can use to cut them with. If you need to see them in more detail, go ahead and pause the video at any point And take a look at the list of all the vegetables. They even have other foods including nuts and cheese. I wonder how well the cheese is going to work. And the nuts too, that's an interesting one. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the sausage. Let's show you how to set it up. We are going to import the ring. You snap it in place, you can hear how it snaps. And then once you've done that, insert the cone of your choice. We're gonna start with the slicer. It's the one that I use the most. Once you put the slicing cone in, you want to Snap in the locking ring so the cone will not fly out. That's really important. We're going to start with putting in carrots. We're going to use the smaller hole because the carrots are really small and thin. So it'll be easier to slice them that way. Make sure you prepare your vegetable first. You can't put in the whole carrot as is because the whole carrot is too long, won't fit into the chute. So we're gonna slice it in half so that it's going to fit into the chute just fine when you can push down with the black thing. So here we go. In they go. Now we're going to take, oh, I don't know what you call it. It's just gonna push the food down. It's what you use to keep your hands away from the blade. And you're gonna put it right into the salad itself. That's pretty convenient. Let's see it work. Okay, as close as carrots, you get a feel of how thick the slices are. And you can hear the noise of the machine there. It's not too loud. And it's pretty effective. Works pretty well. Let's take a look at some celery. So we're going to use the small, thin uh, inserter again as well. This one is pretty good. You can't do as many, though. Maybe I could have put them, taken them out and put them all into the bigger one. But I just, they're small and thin, so I just wanted to do the celery this way. So then let's take a look, see how it works. Let's take a look at the noise from the machine for the celery here. Okay, so there you can see the size of the celery. It's pretty thin. Oh, but look what's left over. You can see that there are some celery that didn't actually get sliced well, and there's lots of pieces of celery inside. So yes, the knife will cut more celery and not have these leftover pieces and give you more of your celery left. But you're trading off missing some celery with convenience. All right, so let's show you what look the cone looks like after you have actually used it with celery. You can see lots of pieces around. Okay, let me demonstrate how I hand wash the cones. It's just like any other cheese grater or slicing metallic thing that you might have. You're going to wipe away from the blades, make sure soap and water, nice and warm water, and rinse it off. Or you can toss in the top rack of a dishwasher. Not so bad to clean cleans up really nicely. Okay, so next we're gonna use the ripple shredder to see how that might beautify your salad. This cucumber is too long, so we're gonna slice it in half. 
You'll also notice I'm using the full feeder and not just the short feeder. And there's the rippled slice of cucumber. They do look quite beautiful on inspection. I do like the way they look. But you'll notice that some cucumber gets left over. I guess that's the price of beauty. For the radishes, I decided to use the smaller feeder because my radishes are small enough to fit in. It's going to also set them up nicer for the ripple shredder. And there are the beautiful radishes rippled through. You can see how beautiful those look. That adds a nice little touch to any salad. But notice again, there's lots of radishes that do not get used. Again, the price of beauty for this one shows you some radish pizzas that you know, are not really able to use in a salad. You just got to, I don't know, eat them alone or throw them away or something. All right, here we've got the super shredder cone put in just like the others. I'm going to shred a carrot with it to see how it works on vegetables. Uh, I had to use the smaller feeder because I wanted to have the carrot in there, but you can see the strips are a little short. I don't think this one can really make them long, but if you use the hand shredder, it'd be better for your carrot raisin salad. Next, I want to try some cheese. I had to cut it up to make it fit into the super shredder cones. We're using the black super shredder again. And now we can use the full feeder because it's nice and thick. And you can see the shreds here from the cheese are a lot longer because I could use the full size of it. And you can see the cheese going down and down and down and down. Ooh, the cheese had to slow down there for a bit. And when we're done, with mozzarella being a softer cheese, there's a little bits left over inside the cone. The next one we're going to use is the medium shred cone. This is the smallest one they got. You can see how it works. We are going to use it on specifically cheddar cheese. So maybe you have a taco night. You want to have nicely shredded cheddar with your tacos. So again, I'm going to have to slice it so that it can actually fit into the machine. Otherwise, it wouldn't fit. I'm going to use the full feeder. The full feeder gives us longer slices, longer shreds. So let's see how well it works on the cheddar. So it shoots right into the bowl I have prepared for the cheese. Oh, those are some pretty good lengths of cheese. Right. Shreds it okay. Okay, so let's see the after effects. So if I open it up, oh, you can see there's still some cheese left in the feeder, didn't quite get sliced. We're shaking out the little pieces we can. Maybe we just have to pull them out with our fingers. And then let's take a look at the inside. I'll take the cone out. Ooh, there's quite a few thin slices left. So the price of convenience for this one is to not get all of your cheese sliced properly. I guess you might eat that part left over or something else. Find another use for it. Okay, so next we're going to use the medium grater so that we can see how well it's going to chop up those nuts. So you got some walnuts in the small zone for this one. I'm going to push them, but before I do so, I want to use the guide cone. So you can see how the guide cone works, see how it works. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and guide them into a smaller zone. Let's see how well it chops up some nuts. You know, sometimes I like to have chopped nuts in my yogurt or maybe on ice cream or something. I want to see how well this will chop up nuts for you. And that is a much better job than I can do on my own. Or it's a lot faster than using one of those uh, tools that will chop up nuts for you like a hammer or something. So yeah, that actually looks pretty good. There are still some nuts on the inside, but that's the price for getting your nuts really fine. It usually does that way anyway if I try and do it by hand. Uh, it's supposed to also work well for graham crackers if you want to make a graham cracker crust for like a cheesecake or something. So, you know, all in all, this part is pretty useful to chop up nuts or breads or even graham crackers. So here's my overall take on the Presto Professional Salad Shooter. What's good about it? Well, it's fast, it's convenient, and it works well on vegetables, cheese, and especially nuts. Really impressed with the way it took care of the nuts. What I don't like about it is that it's not as easy to control when you're shredding the vegetables as you would with a standard grater, and that it's going to be wasting a little bit of food for the price of the beauty and convenience that you have. But overall, I'm glad I purchased it. It's added a nice convenience to my kitchen. Happy Healthy Wife Chef!
Barry, you remind me to click on that like button or leave a comment down below. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.